work-related stress is on the rise. New norm, before we leave the house in the morning, our rucksack is half full. It affected over half a million people in the UK last year, and 15 and a half million working days were lost because of it. The World Health Organization have dubbed stress the health epidemic of the 21st century, and it now costs UK employers 42 billion pounds a year. One million dollars. Half of this cost is due to presenteeism, where employees feel they have to show up at work just to show face, when in reality their stress is making them much less productive while in the office. Despite all these figures, only half of employers have a mental health policy in place. It is simply not good enough to expect so much from your staff and to give nothing back in return. But things are changing. The power is now with employees. Offering things like flexible working, the ability to work from home and mental health sick days are no longer just nice to haves. They are absolute necessities if you want to attract and retain the best talent. Employees now know what a good workplace should look like. They now know they no longer need to drive themselves to the point of stress and burnout just to keep employers happy. If you don't look after staff, stress and productivity won't be your biggest problems. It will be staff retention. And although you should look after your staff simply because it's the right thing to do, it's also good for business. Research has found that for every one pound you invest in mental health initiatives, you'll see a two pound 80 return on investment. Look after your staff. It's good for them, it's good for you, and it's good for business. Everyone's a winner.